like that, hey? Is it yummy? Yeah. You wish I had a bottle. Yeah. You wish I had a bottle. It's not bottle time yet. Who said that sheep weren't friendly? Me. I'm the one who said it. <laughs> that's because in the past, every sheep I ever met was a turd. But these guys, now I know that it's management. Because these guys have been managed the way I manage my goats. Lots of attention, lots of affection. And that's what they want. <laughs> Betty more so than Wilma. She's definitely got more of the cuddly personality. And Wilma's a little more standoffish. But both super sweet. Wilma still likes her snuggles, just not as much. Yeah. Betty, like, thrives on them. She's like, oh, yes, touch, 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 touch. Touch me, touch me, touch me. <laughs> She's so much softer, too. It's funny, the texture difference. Well, hello there. Oh, my goodness. Hello, babies. Oh, mama, you did it all on your own. Big boy is already up in Nurison. I think he was born first because he was located just slightly away from the other two. <laughs> and he was all clean. And she was in the process of cleaning the two little black ones. One's a doe and one's a buck down there. And this one's a buck. Cute baby. So pretty. Good job, mama. This mama is so funny. She is eating. She was eating all the way up to labor and apparently all the way through labor because she's still eating. All right, we got our kidding stall. We hadn't put a door on it yet because we hadn't had any kids to have to use it for, but that way they have a nice little stall in there for mama and babies. I have to say, I was a little bit nervous that she was going to actually go into labor during the bad storms we're going to be getting tonight and tomorrow morning. So I'm very relieved that she had them now during the day. Even if I didn't get to see, I at least got to make sure that they were dry and warm and got their first nursing in. I always try to make sure that the goats have a nursing within the first half hour, even if it's just a sip. It's so important to get those calories in their body so that they're able to stay strong and have lots of energy to be able to stand up for the first time and take their first step. Good job, mama. These babies are cute. All right. Shelter's got a new door, new lock. And new babies and mama are enjoying. She's got alfalfa. We haven't been feeding the whole herd alfalfa because it's so expensive right now. We've just been giving them Bermuda, so our mamas and our babies get special treatment. And the babies are up and attempting to nurse on their own. They're trying. <laughs> Mama is letting them nurse, but it is hard when she steps away and they're so wobbly on their legs still. So I will be coming out here every hour until I go to bed um, just to make sure that they've had a sip, that they are looking active and alert. Um, and I, when I came out this time, they, they were all standing up, so, except for the little girl. So I was like, uh-oh. But she stood up and nursed, and I held her on the teat the longest. And after I held her on the teat, she was up and walking around. So it just goes to show you how important it is to make sure that they do not get any low blood sugar, especially in the first couple of hours of being born. You have to keep that blood sugar level really high on these babies, or they can get so weak that they won't be able to nurse. So if you have goats being born, some people say, you know, oh, just let nature take its course, but I'm a firm believer in making sure they are getting something to eat because malnourishment is the most common reason why baby goats become hypothermic and die.
One way to tell if they're getting enough to eat. Are they pooping and peeing? I'm out here for the last time tonight. Storms are starting. They are dry and sheltered. And I am just making sure everybody has had enough to eat. And it looks like they have. Bellies feel full. So you just pinch on either side and feel the belly area and it'll feel sunken in if they haven't eaten and it'll feel nice and round if they have. So I've got them all nice and round and ready to spend the night with their mama through the storms in this nice shelter. And I will be out first thing in the morning to check on them and make sure that they get another very good drink in. Oh, you're not the babies anymore. <laughs> They know it's meal time, so daddy's coming with the grain, and they have become grain addicts. We have dropped them down to three bottles a day now because they really don't need much milk anymore, but we do like to baby and pamper our young ones and get them the best start possible, and milk is a very good food for babies. So we will continue with that. We're dropping them down to three bottles a day now. Pretty ironic. You get warmed up, little buddy. Still a little bit hunched up. So the baby's got cold and hungry. Mama is not producing enough milk for them, so we had to pull them for Mama's health. These two cutie pies have had lots of milk from a bottle already. They're doing good. You can see they're peeing on the puppy pads, so we know that they're getting hydrated again. I, I think they had been okay until it just kind of, the temperature dropped outside and mama's not producing enough milk. So it was best to get them inside, warmed up and well fed. This little one has not warmed up enough to drink yet. So we are putting honey on his tongue for energy and warming him up. You can see how he's just standing there that he's obviously not at a high energy level due to his lower temperature and lower calorie. So once we get him warm, then he can have some milk. They have to be 101 degrees before they can drink. bottle they are doing great taking the bottle lovely as you can see <laughs> her belly is full like a balloon i don't want to overfeed you you have to be very careful not to overfeed bottle baby kids and they will always act like they're hungry as you can see <laughs> but they are now doing really good maintaining their temperatures with just the heat light and we don't keep our house very warm. It's in the 60s in here, high 60s. So even though the temperature outside is starting to warm up, I think we might wait until the sun is out and go and have a visit with mom. Ryan has been able to milk out a quart of milk from her at a time. 
and we have given it to these precious babes. So we are expecting this sweet little girl to be picked up <laughs> by some dear friends of ours. And then this little boy and this little boy are still in need of good homes. Yeah. Bottle babies are a lot of work, so I do require that you have experience with them. But other than that, yeah, you just have to have another goat and experience with bottle babying.